Hi, my name is Sergeant First Class Matthew Foldenauer, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to how to create overlay objects using Google Earth. And for the purposes of this, I have created a spot report, which we're going to use. This could appear in any op order or intelligence annex or uh, scenario based uh, staff X or basically it's just meant to provide you with data for creating this area of interest on your map. So as you can see we have a platoon sized dismounted enemy patrol establishing a combat outpost and it gives you four grid coordinates. Frequently uh, these areas of interest can encompass a lot more grid coordinates but we're going to keep it simple and just give you four. And as you can see they're in placing a 60 millimeter mortar and so that gives us some more information for choosing a custom graphic which I will show you how to import. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Google Earth and we're going to search for these grid coordinates. So again they were six to, if you look at what it gave you six digit grids we need to convert these to ten digit grids because Google Earth won't look for six digit grids. Now if you type in 17 Sierra space, Lima Sierra space, 93600, excuse me, 96600 and you search for that, it's going to bring up all these addresses. okay? And that's because that 17 Sierra looks like an address. So if you take the spaces out, do a search, it's going to bring up the grid coordinate. There goes my son. Okay, I'm going to actually delete that other search term just to keep my search area clean. There's the first grid. Now we're going to enter in the other three grids, 93500, 9650096500, 9340096600, and 9350096700. Now if we check all four of those search results, you can see that it defines a small area in the woods where our bad guys are setting up their 60 millimeter mortar. In order to create an overlay from this, with all of them selected, we click on the Add Polygon tool and it brings up this new polygon window. And we're not going to mess with the window just yet, we're going to click on all four of these corner points as accurately as possible using the new crosshairs that it gives us for our cursor, and it creates a white square. Not too terribly useful. The first thing we're going to do is rename that, we're going to call that Spot report one or you can give it a date time group or anything else that you like go to the style and color and we'll change the area fill to say red for bad guys and we'll change the opacity down to say 30 percent so that you can see the terrain through it okay and that by itself is going to give you your area in addition to that, you might want to put a graphic in that area. So we're going to put a pin, and the point of the pin is actually the coordinates. And you can see that in the new place mark, it gives you the universe transverse, universal transverse mercator coordinates, which are not terribly useful to you. But I'm going to show you how to convert that in a second. Um, this little square up here is to select your icon. All of these are the stock Google icons, but you can add a custom icon. And I just happen to have gone into a really useful website, I'm going to show you in a second, and created one. And that is a 60 millimeter mortar. Okay, and it gives me my new icon. I'm going to select it. And I actually want to make it bigger. Now it's taking up a little more space there. And we're going to call that uh, nothing. I'm just going to delete the title. And we'll give it a description. We'll say 60 millimeter mortar and vicinity 17 Sierra, Lima Sierra, 93600, Okay, and it drops it. And then we can clear all these search results, and there you have an enemy position. And if you click it, it'll bring up the intelligence, and the overlay is highlighted. Um, if 
you want to find more of these graphical overlays, you can look at this website, https colon slash slash rdl.train.army.mil, all of that stuff right there. I'll put it in the description so that you can hopefully copy and paste it into your browser. And it's a table of contents for all of the different symbols that you could use. So if you go to equipment symbols, for instance, which is where I got this, you can scroll down and find any kind of equipment you want to put, say, a surface-to-surface -surface missile launcher, friendly, enemy, blah, blah, blah. You can cut that out using whatever photo editing software you have, and you can insert that graphic into the overlay. So, now, let's say that the area that that weapon system is going to be threatening is over here at the Youth Challenge Academy at Fort Gordon, Georgia, because uh, the enemy has a real problem with troubled youths. So we want to create a overlay here for where the impact area might be, or maybe that's a friendly fob or whatever. Um, without the coordinates, what we can do is we can hover our mouse, actually we can drop a pin, and it uses the last icon we use, so don't worry about that. We can change that. But we center it, and it gives you the UTM grid coordinates here. Now using those, we can go into this website, convert coordinates, earthpoint.us, www.earthpoint.us, slash convert.aspx. And it has this calculator that you can use to figure out what your position on the Earth is. We're going to copy and paste these coordinates one chunk at a time into this position field. And now we have it all. And we're going to calculate. And it gives us a conversion in every format we could want. And there's the MGRS coordinate. So we're going to highlight that and copy it. Go back into Google Earth. We're going to cancel our pin mark. We're going to pop that into our search field and hit search. Bam! There's our first corner. And if you repeat that, with every corner, you can actually get the grid coordinates. That's how you convert a grid. But we don't really need to go to all that trouble because we can just draw. So we take our polygon tool, we click on the corners of the ground there. And you can see that it creates an overlay and we can change that to say blue because they're friendly. And we can change the opacity down to 30 or maybe 40 so it's a little more visible. And then we're going to title that YCA Tactical Operations Center. Okay. And rename it over here, Youth Challenge Academy Talk. Okay, so there you have it. Simple method for adding overlays and graphics to Google Earth. Thanks for watching, and I hope that if you find this helpful, you'll share it with your friends. Again, you can email me at matthew.foldenauer at us.army.mil, and I'll be happy to answer any questions or provide any help that you need in creating your own overlays. Thanks a lot.